One of the things that you have to understand with Lucy is that what you're doing when you, there's not a lot of push pull, okay? So if you're not in a position to where you're going to need to kite, if you're not mm -hmm. in a position, if you're going to need to push, what do you do in the meantime? And I think if you look very carefully right here, you already have, at least in this particular instance, an answer to that question. You see? Yeah, you I'm being... trying to keep the tracer in right, check. Right, right. So what Lucio does is you control space by trying to position yourself on the person that needs assistance. Brig, Bap, Mercy, all of those heroes are better pockets. Kiriko even are better pockets than you. But the mm -hmm. difference between you, at least with the other than Kiriko, is the fact that you can reposition yourself to where you're needed much more rapidly than they can. In other words, if this was a brig on the ash, I think this ash would be happier, right? Yeah. But a brig couldn't be with the ash and then also immediately reposition to speed their Junker Queen and then go back to the ash, right? And the same thing yeah. applies to really any pocket hero. Even Mercy herself is too much of a liability. She can pocket more, but she in of herself is fragile, whereas Lucio is not. So for you, you're thinking, are we likely to push? Okay, maybe now we are. So then where do you need to be right now? Probably with my tank. Exactly where you are in. right now. Right, right. Now, at this point in time, obviously, we would like to see speed. I don't know if I would see speed boost, yeah. but I wouldn't be mad if we saw speed boost. But yes, yeah, certainly go on speed. And then are you controlling space by denying their off angles, or are you going for something aggressive at this point in time? Um, I'll probably go in aggressively since okay. they're down one. Sure. And what would that look like versus let's just let's just play it out a little bit. So what I did, I think, yeah, I am speed went on somewhat someone. Mm -hmm. My Junker Queen was going to the right, so I just followed her. Right. Okay. There's two modes of Lucio. You are either controlling the space by denying the enemy team or pressuring out the enemy team's off angles and helping your team control off angles, or you're speed boosting your team in or out. That's it. Yeah. That's it. And if you need to recognize when you're in between those two modes and position yourself accordingly, you need to react, right? Yeah. Whether that's to what the enemy team is doing or what your team is doing. So what should you do right now? I'll probably try to help with the doom. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then what happens if your Junker Queen drops and pushes? Stay with her and help right. her pressure. So the I would line. assume that I'm going to help my doom, but if I see my Junker Queen pushing and I think that I can help her, I'm going to go with her. I'm going to react. Yeah to what's actually happening. Now, this is important because when we talk about you controlling space, it's two things you've noticed. Think about the very first fight. Were you shooting Tracer to peel your ash or were you shooting mm -hmm. Tracer to get rid of the Tracer on the angle? Was uh, it a peel or was it a pressure? More a pressure. It was a trick question. <laughs> it's both. <laughs> It's both. Yeah, Why yeah, not both, right? You can peel your ash and clear the tracer at the same time. And if you do not at least distract and keep the soldier busy, then your team might die, right? Yeah. And you can tell that because he is on a high ground, on an offing, on a powerful position. You see, you you are thinking, I'm going to boop this guy off of high ground and kill him. Yeah. But the very act of doing that is also helping and peeling your team nothing yeah. right now <laughs> not only that <laughs> your queen was not pushing your queen was not in a position to push so where was your presence most needed uh with my squishies Cont control well not just your squishies my sniper your sniper well actually not just your sniper think about it. don't think about it from a target perspective think about it from a positioning perspective Watch the most this. vulnerable vul vulnerable team right groups. the most aggressively positioned it's because she's the one who's actually shooting the enemy team you see yeah. that her position allows her to actually do damage and your soldier and kiriko are doing jack all right same thing with sure. your queen, right? They're, they're just kind of trading on Doom. Your Ash is the one that's actually going to get the kill here. So you need to be here. Now, again, you're not the best at doing this. Brig, Mercy would be much better here. But you could deny the Doomfist. You can amp heal <laughs> when the Doomfist dives and keep her alive. You won't kill the Doom, but you'll keep her alive. And that's on you. And this is what makes Lucio so hard is like being able to not only read the battlefield like that, 
but then obviously mechanically being able to quickly reposition and going, oh, my queen is pushing. I'm going to leave my ash and help my queen. Nice. Now, this makes sense, okay? Yeah. Because you are doing what type of play? Uh, I'm pushing up okay. on... What, what is now vulnerable mother. right now, though? My backline. To controlling space, right? You did not appeal or control and mark this doom, right? On the angle, right? This is... But is what you're doing at least logical? Yeah. Yes. The queen is pushing. We are pushing. You are speeding your tank in. So do you know what? I'm totally fine with this. I can make mm -hmm. a good argument for being here instead, but I actually like this too. And it might even work. And it does. Look at you. Nice job. Really, really, re really good job. This is great. This is phenomenal work. Now, this is this is a great composition for talking about what we talked about. <laughs> because... Mm -hmm. Controlling space. What is that going to look like? Uh, booping the ball whenever he's trying to else? roll in. Um, and speeding my Reinhardt. Sure. Well, okay. So remember, it's controlling space is in like controlling angles, right? So All right. Not taking ball, space. Control, yeah. Tracer, right? These are heroes that you could duel and mark. Uh, assisting your Casty or Torbjorn, right? Or even your Ana to take angles and do damage. Or mm -hmm. push-pull, right? Yeah. Push in with your Ryan, RKO the uh, Zenyatta in the back line, right? There's, there's going to be a lot of nuance here, right? So right now, obviously peeling ball, okay? But for example, right now, you're kind of doing neither, right? So like right now, you need to be very quick. What could you be doing right now? What should you be doing right now? Two options. Um, Either be more forward with my Reinhardt mm -hmm. or... Uh check on my back line exactly. and see if they're doing sit on fun. your back line and murder this guy completely ruin his day lucio is a monstrous ball counter if you play it well one of the mm -hmm. best in the game if not the best in the game um but if you're falling asleep at the wheel you know like you are right now not marking yeah. tracer not marking ball not peeling back line like right now of what benefit are you right now none none either you enable your back line to play more aggressive because you're marking the ball tracer so that they can help ryan more or you directly help your Ryan more so that, okay, yeah, your backline's struggling, but also their backline is struggling too. You see that? Yeah. Get her. This is the marking, right? You're thinking, yep. I don't want, I don't think we're going to push. I don't want to push. So I'm going to make this Tracer's life miserable so that my Ana can relax, right? Don't, so you're going a little far, <laughs> but your heart's in the right place. But you see here, I'm actually not a fan of this position because this is peeling off a queen, which obviously yeah. tank, but really, is this queen going to be pushing? No. No. So actually, who's the more important person to enable right now in terms of positioning? Could peel for my honor. Who's got the more aggressive angle? You see this? So from here, you would be like, okay, I mean, this is really funny. Both supports just ignoring each other. But actually here, if this Ana is able to focus and not get distracted, she's going to save your queen, not you. True. Your speed yeah. boost isn't going to matter here because your queen has nowhere to kite and she's not going to be pushing. So instead here, what should you be doing? Peeling off your Ana or? I should hold off the Zen. Exactly. Go, go, go kill this guy. Seriously, mess him up. Boop him off the high ground. Didn't, didn't, didn't prevent him because that's going to be more healing indirectly than you could ever do onto a tank. Yeah. Right? This, that's why healing a tank generally as Lucy just isn't worth it. Speed boost, though that matters, but that doesn't matter right now. So you're you are doing absolutely nothing here. Now, you do get some shots on Tracer, which is good. If the Tracer focuses your tank, she's being an idiot, by the way, that's her mistake. But that is good value, right? Because you could deny a lot of damage to your tank by marking Tracer. Reasonable. Yes, yes, yes. Nice. Now I know that your queen is in trouble now, but this is yeah. good. You've done a great job. You have a lot. Like, let me ask you this question: What does your Ana have to worry about right now? Um, only Tracer. Not once even. She comes back. Not even. Yeah. Not even Tracer. Right. Right. You forced her out, so your Ana could totally relax. Nice shot. And your Ana being able to totally relax. Allows for that, right? Yeah. And then now you're pushing in with your queen. Reasonable. 